Hello there, links here and welcome to Yumina Via Terra. I actually found out that there are 10 pages for for saves. 10 pages of 10 sets, so 100. And that means we actually need to start overwriting the very beginning. Anyway, what, what we were supposed to... Ooh, what we were supposed to do is go to Clubroom. Complete the mission, Agent Ayumu. And so on. Uh, of course, we are going there because Kirara. <laughs> yes. Anyway. What did you call me here by myself? Hmm. I'm alone in the club room with Kirara. Putting it that way conjures up ideas of a rather physical scene. No. No, it doesn't. But as it happens, there isn't a shred of that kind of feeling in my body. That's a lie, by the way. In fact, there is a knock in my stomach because of the pressure. So we're just being the chief after all. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> well. Yeah, okay, I guess. I guess she knows that it's pointless considering her physique. <laughs> Her eyes look cold, as if they are not human at all. They almost give me a heart attack. A rat at least has some way of fighting back against a cat. This isn't like that. This is like a snake eating a frog. Did she hear me? I'm sorry, I'm so very sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> Speaking of... What is the issue? Not really, no. <laughs> well... That's true. I can't argue with that. But on the other hand, could she actually fight on equal footing with the others? I feel bad for Yumina, but that's just the reality of the situation. She has no chance of winning, and she probably can't even put up a decent fight. No matter how hard we work right now, that face isn't going to change. I mean, that fact, sorry, that fact isn't going to change. <laughs> <laughs> Something shady! Well, I get it, but I wish you wouldn't drag me into the dark world! In love? War, maybe, but I'd like to believe there's such a thing as fairness in politics. There isn't. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait. I like to think it is. Ever since the first battle, I've done quite a few things. <laughs> My pants are pretty dirty already. What do you mean? Why is that? Uh -huh. uh -huh. We are different from the other groups. In other words, I didn't know Yumina had gotten strong enough for you to think like that. Must be all on the dan joining. Huh. Huh? I so agree with you. Don't say that to her face. She'll just burst in tears. And how do you suppose I do that? You think she has a weakness we can exploit? Naruto. Uh -huh. In that case, this is going to be easy. I'm sure you found out a ton of weaknesses. 
Kurokawa Kirara is scared to have as an ally, but you really don't want her as your enemy. Since she's scary either way, better to have her on your side. So the best thing of all would be to not have to deal with her at all. That's bullshit. No. Not at all. What? Huh? Even when you investigated personally. Guys, we are in deep trouble. Our chances of winning just dropped. Then what do we do? I really don't know if involving me is going to help that much. What do you mean? Huh? Considering her personality and ability as well as what Kirara just said, I don't think there's a lot we can expect out of this. The fact that Kirara is making me do it anyway means that she's really grasping for straws. Fine. I think it's useless, but I'll try anyway. I'm a little worried that she didn't give me anything specific to do. But my body is already starting to move, obeying her. <sighs> I sure have gotten used to being run rugged like this. I feel a little sad about that, but I, I leave the room in search of weakness in Kagura and Nayuta. With that being said, I did not drop by the dungeon. <laughs> I guess we should do that and check out if there are any new quests. Uh, that's episode 34. Okay, let's 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 check out if there is anything for us over here. No, there isn't. Thank you. Even for we won't be doing anything. Yes. You mean a slump, her peculiar taste, sneaking mission, oh, Ruminous Rage, the Tyrannical Empress. This is, I think, one of our club members' brother again. Let's go sneaking mission. I'm acting independently in the new school building of Jinwu Academy. Right now, I'm working toward a goal. That goal is to find a weakness in Kagura Nayuta. On Kirara's orders, of course. The Echo Man. <laughs> so you're dumping it all on me. Yeah, I get it. I get the main gist. You're going to break Nyota's base supporters, right? Well, off I go then. I'll try all the tricks in the book, but you shouldn't expect too much. That hurt, you know. Oh, God. I mean, good. Well, I'll do my best anyway. In the end, I chose to follow Nayuta at the distance to check out her movements. It's not fun, but it has the highest likelihood of success. She had a speech planned for today, so finding her was easy. From there, all I had to do was follow her at a discreet distance. Oh my god, that's the worst type of mission, man. I watch her as she talks to some 
to a some to to a some uh, to some students who are talking in the hallway. I move a little closer so I can hear what they're saying. Really? 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 Yours is as well, by the way. I don't like her. これは別に何来てもいいんだから仕方だって俺の自由でいいだろう。くそ how the heck people vote on her? Why? Notice eyes narrow. The student shrinks back under the sudden pressure. Don't. Don't. Be a rebel! She completely cornered the students, not surprising considering the intensity of her words. But still, you have to be freaking pathetic to lose to something like that again. Then again, I said, in that speech she wasn't any good as well. She continues roaming around, occasionally ca cautioning people she meets. Basically, she's a pain in the ass, I think. I never noticed before, but she seems to really take her work as student council President, seriously, way too seriously. From what Clara told me, she seems to have an impressive collection of virtues. There is no doubt that Nauta is capable of. And we're supposed to take her down? I don't think you can do it by ordinary means. Nauta continues her rounds through the school. Sometimes she exchanges a few words with one of her supporters. However, she doesn't seem to be particularly friendly with any of them. That's one difference between her and us. The other point of interest is her personality, starting with the first guy. Everyone she meets obeys her. Or rather, Nayuta makes sure they obey. She's fit for the title of Empress, for she's a bit like Kirara in that respect. No, 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 Kirara is a good one. No, wait. Kirara is more like a witch. Cute one. And that makes her great. I continue to follow Nayuta. Thoughts running through my head. I'm not really seeing anything that looks like a weakness. I'm making sure she won't notice me by hiding myself from her. My dad trained me to do this. He'd beat me up if he heard me coming. But somehow I can say I'm confident that I'm still unnoticed. I get a feeling she knows I'm following her. Maybe just my imagination. <laughs> Why are you in our store? Is she also done joining? Fuck! When Nauta reaches the store, she speaks up in what sounds like a constructed tone of voice. She's not looking behind her, but I can tell she's saying it for me to hear. I don't know what her intentions are, for it sounded pretty unnatural. What is she thinking? I bet you she's the girl throwing that picture Kirara took. Head. Hidden. I actually have two. Nani? What a magic item. I need it. I 
ミロエステラールとプラセンタエキスを配合副作用を低減しつつもサナコーガワ説明など今更しなくてよろしいですね商品の効果など私自身で確かめますのおいおい、あいもあいのティングです。What's this? She seems rather friendly with Yami. そこのあなた、下手な美行はそろそろおやめなさい。Just a symbol to lean closer, she calls out to me.、Uh, just don't react, man. <sighs> Fuck, so you noticed after all. Oh, I already don't think that's called for. I know full well that this girl is worth of respect for her abilities, for she's a pain in the ass, so she will not get any respect from me. Anyway, but even so, there is something about her attitude that I just don't like. I don't know what exactly it is. Maybe? She's clearly seen through my actions, but I feel the need to keep up my defense. She gives me an amused smile. Huh, that's how you see me. I forget about my animosity for her for a moment. Hira's confident. True, my actions lead to believe that way, but this is just a very delicate task. Maybe? Nope. I'll keep it at this for today. Even if I kept following her, she wouldn't do anything of interest anyway. Unfortunately, I'll have to return empty handed. Why the hell would I want to do that? I don't need any aggressive sales tactics. Thanks. Don't worry, she will not. Alright, then give me some troll drops for Yumina. Yeah. For Kira told me she wouldn't get mad at me. It may not be such a bad idea to do something for the club. I buy some rather overpriced troll drops, then head back to the club room. I haven't found any weaknesses yet. If only I had some kind of hint. One hint. Mi Miro Esterol. What is that again? I actually don't know myself. First, let's check out translation. Maybe I do know. I did not write it properly. Great. Okay, it doesn't have a translation. What the hell? Oh! Interesting. Okay, it mimics the activity of the estrogen. Interesting. Oh, we are not going back to. Okay. I totally thought we were going. Oh, girls, no. I totally thought we were going to uh, visit Kirara afterwards. Yes, I want to over. Fuck. Episode 34, save to, to the club room again. Okay, first of all, checking out if there's anything new. Yes, I would like to rent just in case, for it's a ridiculous price. Quests, nothing new. Maybe in the new week there will be something new. Maybe. Okay, Rodeo Man 2. There was a one. Uh, Romina's Rage. Lifesaver. Uh, I don't know what to go. Let's go. Let's check. You know what? Let's be a let's let's become a pain in the ass for her. Girls dorm first. Lifesaver. This should be an evening event, but ah, I walk around the campus. It's a simple activity, but it's important work. Although it's not as bad as with sports clubs united, there might still be students somewhere who are plotting to damage Yumina's reputation. 
To get an idea of the situation, my job is to collect rum rumors. As I thought, I didn't find anything. All I get out of the people I talk to is how perfectly they think Naguta is. She doesn't use any underhanded tact uh, tricks, tactics to take down her opponents. She simply confronts them and beats them. Of course she can do that because she's so powerful. She can afford to fight fair and square because she can win like that. She's been working between all previous engagements, it seems. As a result, our own... fuck. As a result, our own trigger is having a hard time. Neutrally is a tough customer. What's left? Her relationship with Yaemi. Before when I shadowed her, she noticed for. She went to the store. Her conversation with Yami kind of caught my attention. I guess I'll look into it when I get back to the dorm. Tick, 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 tick. Hmm? What's that? On my rounds, I pass in front of the girl's dorm. There's a familiar voice coming from there. It's a voice I encountered on recently. It belongs to Nayuta. For she sounds rather different from what I've come to expect from her. I'm a little curious, so I decided to check it out. What you doing, Taita? I find her by the side of the girl's door. When I call out her, she jumps and spins around. She's acting rather differently than usual. Did something happen? Naota points at the wall next to the girl's door. Halfway up, I can see a slightly moving shape. A cat! Maybe she's not so bad. Uh, I guess it can get back down on its own. It looks pretty frightened. It's a tiger striped cat. It's too small. It's trembling halfway up the wall. I don't know if it fell down from above or if it climbed up, climbed up but leaving it will be probably turned out badly. So she can be cute too! Eh, me! Okay, I'm going! Then what do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah, uh, okay, uh, I'll figure something out, yeah. Well, catching it as it falls seems pretty risky, we don't know if it will jump our way. Should I go get an net or something? I don't know if I can find one, but it seems the thing to do. You want to sit one on my shoulders? Nice! By the way, that was your idea! Hey, I never said anything of the sort. What? I didn't say anything and I'm not rubbing! Besides, we can't reach it even if one of us sits on the other shoulders. We're going to need to let the ladder. <sighs> yeah, I think it's mostly frightened of your fusing. Fuse, fusing? Fu fusing, actually, yeah. I guess I have no choice. Spider-Man time. Considering how flustered she is, I don't think that is going to be of any help. But it doesn't look like she's going to let me leave to get help either. Which means I have to do this on my own. Fortunately, I think I can climb this wall. Whoa! Don't make a scene like that. The cat's getting scared. You know, I start to like her. <laughs> we should switch sides. No, Kirara. We can't leave Kirara behind. I put my foot on the wall and lever myself up. So long as I concentrate, I can climb up. 
Or had I seen the cat's eyes looking at me and below I sense Nayuta frantically holding her breath. Nobody's telling you to hold your breath! This conversation seems strangely familiar. It's almost enough to break my concentration. Could it be that Tanyota has a mindset not unlike Yumina's? <laughs> Man, I don't know what I did to deserve this. <clears throat> I search my button, reach for the next ledge. I move upward, supporting my wave with my arms alone. This should take me back. I never thought I need the skill in my this skill. In my school car. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> um, you're kind of pressuring me down there, so could you wait a little quieter, please? I actually did fall once and I survived, so <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm a veteran. I once fell from a window on the third floor. Right, one more ledge. Hop! I finally got close enough to the cat to grab it. I reach out slowly as to not sc to scare it. There we go, gotcha! <laughs> now the hardest part, get down. I hold the cat close to me so it won't fall. It's shivering, but it doesn't seem to be hurt. Now that I reached my goal, I start climbing down with added wave to support now. No, 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 never mind. Nanuta is holding the cat. She looks genuinely relieved. She calls it by a pet name and rubs her cheek against it. The cat doesn't look very happy about it, but I decide not to mention that. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. There was more turning than I thought it would be. Mostly because of Nanuta's attitude. Is there something else? I know that! I didn't help because I wanted to do that in the first place! She has nice legs, by the way. I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. That's bullshit, by the way. I mean, maybe Ayuma is. I'm not. I'm just glad that the cat is okay. I sorry I clicked, but I hope you'd manage to read it. So what we'll do with the cat? It's a stray, isn't it? Nice, nice, nice. Then I will leave it to you. I'm sure that's the best thing to do. Well, I think I'm going now. I've got to pick up some stuff from my room. And in the evening of the same day, <laughs> we, great. we greet each other in a manner that makes our positions clear, then walk away. We each, go <coughs> we each go in a different direction. We are enemies at the end of the day. <coughs> I can hear you! Just when I thought we parted in a hard boiled way, I hear Anita talking to the cat. Talk about an anti climax. I sure got the experience and unusual sight of Nayuta. I've quite had enough of it. She was flustered, then she said some weird things, then she was cuddling the cat. I don't think I should try to read a weakness in it, if only for the cat's sake. She likes cute things, nothing wrong with that. Oh, one of the events disappeared. Interesting. Let's go. Yeah, let's check out the gym. Taking care of the fallen comrade is something you just do. As one human being to another. I think Rara understands that too, because she agreed right away when I asked her if I could take a look at Ray. That sounds weird, by the way. 
So here I am in the gym, watching Ray from the side of the tennis court. He's directing his club members like the club leader he is. There is no trace left of the tragedy that befell him earlier. In the previous episode, basically. Hmm? Ah, no, no. I've got to see how we're doing. Are you okay now? I mean, we could test it. Well, that's true, I suppose. I'm impressed with how calm he is. I guess he's not known as a tough guy for no reason. Then I hear the voice of student who came to the gym to do some exercise. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> He's not over it. Calm down, Ray. Nobody's calling you a pervert. Oh boy. Ray clutches his head and squats down. It seems he the experience has severely traumatized him. I have the other students away. Guys, go away. Then I spent a few minutes trying to pacify Ray. Uh, don't you think you should take a little time off from the school-related activities? Sorry, but I'm doing my very best to... I don't want to show Ray how dispirited I am. But Ray bites on his lip. I can tell he's frustrated. So I heard. Actually, I found out that... Uh, uh, found that out for myself. I heard the verbal team replay after all. Ray seemed to be suffering back then as well, but maybe he suffered so much that his memory got corrupted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear about verbal violence all the time, but with the system used in the student council war, it literally becomes violence. You get combat visuals, and the mental damage you can get during the battles is pretty high. I can understand why it had such a big impact on him. What? ブラコンだとか、無能だとか、あることないこと好き勝手にな。What? to join the debate club as the fifth member? I'm pretty pissed myself. I'm not kind of so I'm not really in a position to say this, but we're going to fight on your behalf! Ray is trembling with rage. But that's not why I said it. I generally feel that way. Yeah, I'll tell you Minanu said that. Actually, maybe you should ask her directly yourself. Ah, Yumina is the kind of girl who cares about other people's feelings. If she heard how frustrated Ray was, she'd probably get all fired up. You don't feel comfortable about asking her a favor. Yeah, you only care about what she thinks of you. This is exactly why people call him a sister lover. But he's really serious about it, so nothing to be done about that. Anyway, I'll do what I can, but I'd like a favor in return. <laughs> Calm the freak down, man. That's not what I want. I want you to help with my investigation. 
Yeah, we need to find out what her weakness is. You're directly you've directly confronted her. Isn't there anything you noticed? <clears throat> you don't need to tell me right now. You can think of it for a while. Tell me if you've remembered something. One little detail. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Ray is a good guy to have on your side with his power of mobility. I leave the gym hoping that he'll be able to give me some useful information. It's Sunday, and that means it's time to end the episode. No, to be honest, I just need to get some sleep. And we'll continue tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day. Or uh, a well-slept night. Bye-bye.